What's up everyone? Today I'm doing another log pickup, a couple of white pine logs. I believe there's five. I'm gonna use the old winch and my sawmill ramps again. got the logs loaded up. We had a little bit of trouble. Um, this time I was going the route that I normally take, which is using batteries instead of jumper cable. And uh, the battery I was going to use, which I had actually had on a charger, um, was very low and did not work for very long at all. So thankfully I brought a spare battery so I was able to use that one for the rest of it and we got them all loaded so what I did here is I traded these logs for some cedar lumber so that was pretty cool didn't have to pay anything out and these logs were not quite as nice as I, as I thought they were but anyways he wanted a hundred dollars for the logs and I ended up giving him more than a hundred dollars worth of cedar lumber there was more logs than I thought but they were not as nice as they thought and I thought they were all supposed to be white pine, but there was a few red pines mixed in there. So I was kind of disappointed. I had to drive an hour and 15 minutes to pick up these logs and it wasn't really what I was expecting. But hey, that's, I guess that's kind of to be expected with when you're picking up logs from, you know, somebody on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. I found these on Facebook Marketplace. He's a real nice guy, does some woodworking. So it's pretty cool meeting him. He actually helped me out to load the logs, so that was nice to have his help. So anyways, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of picking up logs for the sawmill. Sometimes you have to be willing to do the hard work in order to get what other people aren't willing to get. So work hard, stay at it, get on Craigslist, get on Facebook Marketplace. Find you guys some logs for your sawmills. Definitely keep your eyes open for good deals. Sometimes they come along. So anyways, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you guys get good value, consider liking and subscribing. And hopefully I'll be bringing you more valuable content from the sawmill. Until next time, happy sawing guys.